so when you're building this avatar, you're asking them questions, right? You're one question about why, right? You get all these answers. So what do you do with that data now to now build your avatar to a place where you understand them? So one, you can obviously talk to them through your copy, but two, which is really important, we all know this, right? All us marketers is that that's how you're going to buy your traffic. That's how you're going to create your targeting. So how do you do that? Do you name your avatars? I know a lot of people like to name mm. the male, the female, whoever it is, right? Like, is this Joanne? And you're thinking of Joanne, you know, like, but if Joanne is your only avatar, but you have four segments, Joanne can't be all four of those avatars, right? So yep. it's like, how do you go about now? Just like, do you have something on the wall that shows you who your avatar is? We, so it's funny when we did the avatar workshop worksheet, we, we did, we have somebody's name on it, but that was, and it, um, it was good, it better than nothing, because then at least we have a, a, you know, a name, we're aiming towards something. But it was before we had, but, but that avatar at the best was an, an hypothesis on, um, on my client's experience of working with, you know, working in this space for over 20 years. But now that we have l l literal, people that are not made up that are real that uh are, have been on her list um some of them and then obviously the deeper uh the deeper human researchers the people that bought into the into the the program and and uh getting more deep with them and understanding their why because essentially um at some point you could correlate the people who wrote the whys that purchase this program and look at just like you know your for your hottest audience kind of like running a lookalike audiences on steroids right because you have yeah. like uh social like like real um like psych psychological things not just like oh they're from, they're all from like detroit or michigan they're oh, all from totally. california they're all 50 years totally. old so um but um um we have not gone back i mean this is hot off the presses so now it's gonna be great actually going through this and then recreating it based on on actual like reality not just yes. hypothesis yeah. um where is all this data is it i see it printed out but do you have it on the computer it is right now it's 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 on a, a simple word doc i asked my client to just copy and paste every email she got and put on a word doc um i could totally help you with this by the way later we'll talk about that yeah. later 